In the early 21st century, there has been a global movement towards the phase out of lightweight plastic bags. Single-use plastic shopping bags, commonly made from low-density polyethylene LDPE, plastic, have traditionally been given for free to customers by stores when purchasing goods. The bags have long been considered a convenient, cheap, and hygienic way of transporting items. Problems associated with plastic bags include use of non-renewable resources such as crude oil, gas and coal, difficulties during disposal, and environmental impacts. Concurrently with the reduction in lightweight plastic bags, shops have introduced reusable shopping bags. Governments all over the world have taken action to ban the sale of lightweight bags, charge customers for lightweight bags, or generate taxes from the stores that sell them. The Bangladesh government was the first to do so in 2002, imposing a total ban on lightweight plastic bags. Between 2010 and 2019, the number of public policies intended to phase out plastic carryout bags tripled. As of 1 June 2019, such bans have been introduced in 65 countries, with varying degrees of enforcement, and 31 countries instead impose a charge per bag. Bans and charges have been enacted by some local jurisdictions such as states, counties, territories and cities. Topic: Issues. Plastic bags cause many minor and major ecological and environmental issues. The most general issue with plastic bags is the amount of waste produced. Many plastic bags end up on streets and subsequently pollute major water sources, rivers, and streams. Even when disposed of properly, they take many years to decompose and break down, generating large amounts of garbage over long periods of time. Improperly discarded bags have polluted waterways, clogged sewers and been found in oceans, affecting the habitat of marine creatures. Two primary kinds of direct damage to wildlife are entanglement and ingestion. Animals can become entangled and drown. Plastic bags are often ingested by animals that cannot distinguish them from food. As a result, they clog their intestines which results in death by starvation. Plastic bags can block drains, trap birds and kill livestock. The World Wide Fund for Nature has estimated that over 100,000 whales, seals, and turtles die every year as a result of eating or being trapped by plastic bags. In India, an estimated number of 20 cows die per day as a result of ingesting plastic bags and having their digestive systems clogged by the bags. It is also very common across Africa to have sewers and drain systems clogged by bags which cause severe cases of malaria due to the increased population of mosquitoes that live on the flooded sewers. The term, white pollution, has been coined in China to describe the local and global effects of discarded plastic bags upon the environment. Lightweight plastic bags are also blown into trees and other plants and can be mistaken for food. Plastic bags break down by polymer degradation but not by biodegradation. As a result, any toxic additives they contain—including flame retardants, antimicrobials, and plasticizers—will be released into the environment. 
Many of those toxins directly affect the endocrine systems of organisms, which control almost every cell in the body. Research shows the average operating lifespan of a plastic bag to be approximately 20 minutes. Plastic bags can last in landfill, an anaerobic environment, for up to 1,000 years. Plastic bags dumped in the Pacific Ocean can end up in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. 80% of the plastic waste comes from land, the rest comes from oil platforms and ships. This can be eaten by marine animals, and block their breathing passages and digestive systems. Plastic bags not only add to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, they can be washed ashore around the world. Methods The two most popular methods of phasing out lightweight plastic bags are charges and bands. The charge strategy is said to have all of the same results in plastic bag reduction as a plastic bag ban, with the additional benefit of creating a new revenue source. The plastic bag charge method also protects consumer choice, which the ban does not. Recycling of plastic bags can be another method of phase out. However, a big issue with recycling is that only 5% of plastic bags make it to recycling facilities to begin with. Even when bags are brought to these recycling bins and facilities, they often fly out of these bins or recycling trucks and end up as litter on the streets. If there are any facilities of avoiding the plastics from flying out, this would be a better method. Another issue with recycling is that different bags are made from different yet aesthetically similar types of plastics. Bags can be either made of bioplastics or biodegradable plastics, and if accidentally combined in a compost, the bioplastics could contaminate the biodegradable composting. These bags can also jam recycling equipment when mixed with other types of plastic, which can be costly to repair. For example, Costs of repairs rounded out to be about $1 million per year in San Jose, California. Individuals can also engage in advocacy with local officials and local merchants. With the rise in eco tourism and green travel, there are many opportunities to say no to plastic. Impact According to a 2018 study in the American Economic Journal, Economic Policy, a five-cent tax on disposable bags reduced disposable bag usage by 40 percentage points. According to a 2019 review of existing studies, levies and taxes led to a 66% reduction in usage in Denmark, more than 90% in Ireland, between 74–90% in South Africa, Belgium, Hong Kong, Washington DC, Santa Barbara, the UK and Portugal, and around 50% in Botswana and China. A 2019 study in the Journal of Environmental Economics and Management found that the implementation of a ban on plastic carryout bags in California led to a reduction of 40 million pounds of plastic through the elimination of plastic carryout bags, but that Californians purchased 12 million pounds of plastic through trash bag purchases. The study showed that before the introduction of the ban between 12% and 22% of plastic carryout bags were reused as trash bags, 
plastic bag bans can lead to larger black markets in plastic bags. The production of some non-plastic bags e.g. paper, cotton, can produce more greenhouse gas emissions than plastic bags, which means that greenhouse gas emissions may increase on net following plastic bag bans. Further, the bans can drive significant increases in sales of trash bags, these trash bags are thicker and thus use more plastic than typical store-issued bags. 1. 254–270 Summary of regional developments Topic: Legislation around the world. Topic: Africa. Topic: Kenya. Kenya tried to ban manufacture and import of plastic bags in the year 2007 and 2011 as a way to protect the environment. The 2007 and 2011 ban intended for plastics below 30 microns failed after manufacturers and retail outlets threatened to pass on the cost of using other materials to consumers. In 2017 the Cabinet Secretary of Environment and Natural Resources, Professor Judy Wakungu banned use, manufacture and importation of all plastic bags used for commercial and household packaging under Gazette Notice No. 2356. On 28 August 2017, Kenya began implementing a countrywide ban of single-use plastic bags. Primary packaging bags, hospital waste bags, and garbage bin liners having been exempted from the ban. The ban has been hailed to be amongst the most stringent in the world. This includes a decision to imprison anyone involved in the creation or import of plastic bags for upwards of four years or will be forced to pay a fine between $19,000 and $38,000. Nigeria In May 2019, the House of Representatives of Nigeria banned the production, import and usage of plastic bags in the country. Somalia Plastic bags were banned in the self-declared Republic of Somaliland on 1 March 2005 after a 120-day grace period that the government had given to the public to get rid of their stocks. The Ministry of Trade and Industries announced the cabinet decision in a decree titled, Banning Importation production and use of plastic bags in the country." The bags had been nicknamed, "...the Hargisa flower," as many of them ended up being blown around and getting stuck in trees and shrubs, posing a danger to livestock because the animals that feed on the leaves often ingest the bags accidentally. In 2015 the ban was repeated by presidential decree no hashtag JSL, M, X, E, R, M, 249-3178-042015, again providing for a 120 days grace period to get rid of stocks. 
To ensure the implementation of the ban, the government constituted enforcement teams in 2016 to conduct special drives which launch probes into business stalls. At least 1,000 men and women in uniform deployed into the main markets and shopping malls. The government announced fines against violators who continue selling plastic bags in the country. Topic: South Africa. Plastic bags were a major concern in South Africa before the bag levy was introduced in 2004. The bags were never banned, but a levy was introduced, payable by the plastic bag manufacturer. The thicker plastic bags are levied and although this move initially caused outrage with consumers and an initial decline in volumes, consumers' use has continually increased to several billion plastic shopping bags every year. Tanzania The revolutionary government of Zanzibar banned plastic bags in 2005. Tanzania introduced plans to implement a nationwide ban on plastic bags in 2006. However, its ratification had been delayed for more than 10 years. The ban finally came into effect on 1 June 2019. Topic. Tunisia Tunisia introduced a ban on plastic bag distribution in supermarkets starting from 1 March 2017. An agreement was signed between the Ministry of Local Affairs and Environment and large supermarket chains in the country to enact the first phase of a process aiming to reduce the consumption of plastic bags. Tunisian activists are planning awareness campaigns to establish greener policies in the country. Uganda Uganda introduced legislation in 2007 to ban the sale of lightweight plastic bags under 30 micrometers thick and tax thicker bags at a punitive rate of 120%. Although the laws came into effect in September of that year, they have not been enforced and have failed to measurably reduce the use of plastic bags. The law is not well enforced. Asia Bangladesh A strict ban was introduced in Bangladesh in 2002 after floods caused by littered plastic bags submerged two-thirds of the country in water between 1988 and 1998. Plastic bags remain a big problem for sewerage system and waterways. Topic. Cambodia Cambodia passed the legislation to impose a plastic bag tax in October 2017. Supermarkets now are charging customers 400 riels 10 US cents per plastic bag should they need one. Topic. China A total plastic bag ban on ultra-thin plastic bags and a fee on plastic bags was introduced in China on 1 June 2008. 
This came into effect because of the problems with sewerage and general waste. One 2009 survey suggests that plastic bag use fell between 60 and 80 percent in Chinese supermarkets, and 40 billion fewer bags were used. However, first-hand accounts clearly indicate, the ban has seen limited success, and that the use of plastic bags remains prevalent. Street vendors and smaller stores, which make up a significant portion of retail in China, do not abide by the policy in part due to difficulties of enforcing the ban. Hong Kong Hong Kong forbids retailers from giving plastic bags under a certain thickness and for free. A 50-cent plastic bag levy was implemented on 1 April 2015 across Hong Kong. The use of plastic bags dropped 90% after the introduction of the levy. Signs show that Hong Kong is phasing out the use of plastic bags at a dramatic rate. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> India. In 2002, India banned the production of plastic bags below 20 micrometers in thickness to prevent plastic bags from clogging of the municipal drainage systems and to prevent the cows of India ingesting plastic bags as they confuse it for food. However, enforcement remains a problem. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has also passed regulation to ban all polythene bags less than 50 microns on 18 March 2016. Due to poor implementation of this regulation, regional authorities states and municipal corporations have had to implement their own regulation. In 2016 Sikkim, India's first fully organic state, banned the use of not only packaged drinking water bottles in any government meetings or functions but also food containers made from polystyrene foam all over the state. Himachal Pradesh was the first state to ban plastic bags less than 30 micrometers. The Karnataka state became first state to ban all forms of plastic carry bags, plastic banners, plastic buntings, flex, plastic flags, plastic plates, plastic cups, plastic spoons, cling films and plastic sheets for spreading on dining tables irrespective of thickness including the above items made of thermocol and plastic which uses plastic micro beads. The state of Goa has banned bags up to 40 micrometers thick, while the city of Mumbai bans bags below a minimum thickness to 50 micrometers. The state government of Maharashtra banned plastic starting the 23rd of June 2018. The state government of Tamil Nadu also banned plastic starting the 1st of January 2019. Topic: Indonesia. Starting in 2016, Environment Ministry enforced retailers in 23 cities across the archipelago, mini market, hypermarket, and supermarket to charge consumers for plastic bags between RP.200 and RP.5000 for each bag, including degradable plastic bags and money which came from tax are used by retailers as public funds for waste management alongside non-governmental organizations the island of bali banned single use plastic bags straws and styrofoam effective july 2019 
Topic: Israel Since January 2017, large retailers are required to charge consumers for plastic bags with handles, at NIS 0.10 for each bag. The tax revenues will be used to fund public waste management programs. The average use of plastic bags in Israel in 2014 was 275 per person per year. Four months after the law came into force, the number of disposable plastic bags distributed by retailers subject to the law had dropped by 80%. Taiwan. In January 2003, Taiwan banned the free distribution of lightweight plastic bags. The ban prevented the owners of department stores, shopping malls, hypermarkets, convenience stores, fast food restaurants and regular restaurants from providing free plastic bags to their customers. Many stores have replaced plastic with recycled paper boxes. In 2006, however, the administration decided to begin allowing free plastic bags to be offered by food service operators. In February 2018, Taiwan announced plans to ban plastic bags in varying degrees, banned for in-store use by 2019, certain stores prohibited from offering bags by 2020, price increases starting 2025, then 2030 blanket ban of single-use plastic bags, as well as single-use utensils and containers. Topic Europe Topic European Union In November 2013, the European Commission published a proposal aiming to reduce the consumption of lightweight, thickness below 50 microns, plastic carrier bags. Under the proposal, EU member states can choose the most appropriate measures to discourage the use of plastic bags. On 29 April 2015 the European Parliament passed Directive 2015-720 to reduce plastic bag use by 50% by 2017 and 80% by 2019. Denmark In 2003, Denmark introduced a tax on retailers giving out plastic bags. This encouraged stores to charge for plastic bags and pushed the use of reusable bags. It was thought that this saved about 66% of plastic and paper bags. In 2004, a similar law was passed by the Inatsisartet in Greenland, which applied a recycling tax on plastic bags. By 2014 Denmark had the lowest plastic bag use in Europe, with four bags per person per year, compared to 466 in Portugal, Poland and Slovakia. Topic: Germany. Germany imposes a fee on excess packaging through its Green Dot program, which included plastic bags. 
In addition, all stores in Germany that provide plastic bags must pay a recycling tax. An agreement was signed between trade representatives and the Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation, Building and Nuclear Safety in April 2016 to reduce plastic bags, accepting thin bags for fruit and vegetables, bags for deep freeze products, and long term usable bags, resulting in many shops no longer offer such plastic bags free of cost since July 2016. Should the goal not be achieved, it is foreseen that a law may be passed banning shops from handing them out. The political background to this is a recent change to the European Directive 9460 seconds, e.g. that obliges the member states to reduce the yearly number of plastic bags per capita down to maximally 90 by end 2019 and to maximally 40 by end 2025, whereas Germany had been using 70 bags per capita so far. Topic. Greece A plastic bag charge was introduced on 1 January 2018. Initially bags cost 4 cents each, which then increased to 7 cents on 1 January 2019. Topic. Ireland. Ireland introduced a 15 cents tax in March 2002. Levied on consumers at the point of sale, this led to 90% of consumers using long life bags within a year. This tax geared to change the behavior of consumers while still allowing them to choose if they want to pay an extra fee for plastic bags. The tax was increased to 22 cents in 2007. The revenue is put into an environment fund, which is to be used for environmental projects. This is a major reason that consumers support this tax. A study was done to look at how consumers responded to the tax at checkout and 60% were neutral over the cost while 14% of respondent were «positive» to the extra charge and 26% responded negatively. <laughs> Moldova. The Moldovan parliament has passed legislation banning plastic bags. It came into force for larger retailers in 2017, came into force for medium-sized retailers on 1 January 2018 and is scheduled for small retailers in 2020. Netherlands. The Netherlands implemented a comprehensive ban on free plastic shopping bags on 1 January 2016. The ban has a small number of exemptions for unpacked food products which are exposed to possible contamination, such as fresh fruit. The target price for a plastic bag is 25 cents. Topic. Poland A plastic recycling levy was introduced on 1 January 2018. Single-use plastic bags cost a minimum of 25 gross inclusive of VAT, however stores are able to charge a higher amount. The Polish government estimated that the levy would bring 1.1 billion zloty to the state budget in 2018, in addition to approximately 250 million zloty of VAT revenue raised on sales of the bags. Topic: 
Topic: Portugal. Portugal has implemented a plastic bag tax amounting to 10 cents euro on single-use carrier bags, which led to a reduction of 90% in their use. However, many retailers started selling thicker reusable plastic bags, which are not subject to the tax, for the same amount. Before the Portuguese government implemented this plastic bag tax, some supermarkets in Portugal had already implemented a 2 cent euro fee on each plastic bag. In Madeira Island where supermarkets implemented this bag fee, there was a 64% reduction in plastic bag consumption. Topic: Romania. A law was introduced in 2006, Law 578/2006, and was later modified in 2011, Law 1032/2011, that put a mandatory tax on non-biodegradable plastic bags. A modification in 2011 reduced the tax on plastic bags and was regarded by some as a step backwards from environmental protection. Lightweight plastic bags were banned on 1 January 2019. Topic: <inaudible> Serbia. <inaudible> Serbia has a tax on manufacturers and importers of plastic bags and plans to introduce a ban on lightweight plastic bags and a charge on biodegradable bags in order to reduce bag use to under 90 per person by 2019. Major supermarkets began charging 2 dinars per bag in 2018. Spain Spain introduced a plastic bag charge on 1 July 2018. Catalonia has had a bag charge since April 2017. Switzerland In 2016, the two largest chains of supermarkets in Switzerland, the Federation of Migros Cooperatives and Coop, announced that they will progressively stop to distribute free plastic bags at the checkout. Both distributors announced that they will not make money with paid bags, but that profits from their sale will be invested in environmental projects. Migros previously tested the measure in the Canton of Vaud since 2013. They reduced the number of plastic bags distributed by 90% and saved 100,000 francs per year. Migros will be the first to introduce the measure across the country. On the 1st of November 2016, the bags will be made with recycled plastic and cost 0.05 Swiss francs each. Coop plans to introduce this in 2017. Topic: United Kingdom. The Climate Change Act 2008 served as the legislative framework for the regulation of plastic bags in the United Kingdom. Topic: <laughs> Wales. Wales introduced a legal minimum charge of 5 pence for almost all single-use bags in October 2011. Paper and biodegradable bags are included in the charge as well as plastic bags, with only a few specific exemptions, such as for unpackaged food or medicine supplied on an NHS prescription. 
VAT raised from the charge is collected by the government. Retailers are asked to pass the rest of the proceeds on to charities. July 2012 statistics released by the Welsh Government suggested that carrier bag use in Wales had reduced 96% since the introduction of the charge. Northern Ireland Northern Ireland introduced a five pence levy on almost all single use bags on 8 April 2013. The levy was extended to reusable carrier bags with a retail price of less than 20 pence from 19 January 2014 as data from a number of retailers indicated that reusable bag sales had increased by 800% since the introduction of the levy on single-use bags. The proceeds of the levy, £4.17 million in 2013–14 are paid to the Department of the Environment and used to fund local environmental projects and enforce the levy. Official statistics for the Northern Ireland levy show that the number of single-use bags dispensed fell from around 300 million in 2012–13 to 84.5 million in 2013–14 a reduction of 72%. Scotland. A 5 pence minimum charge for single-use carrier bags came into force in Scotland on 20 October 2014. The proceeds of the charge can be used by the retailers as they see fit, although retailers are encouraged to pledge to donate proceeds to good causes. The charge is not exclusive to plastic bags, and includes biodegradable bags, such as paper. Bags for unpackaged food, loose seeds, soil-contaminated goods, axes, knives or blades, drugs or medical appliances, small packaged uncooked fish, meat or poultry, aquatic animals, purchases made in aerodrome security restricted areas, or goods bought on board a ship, train, aircraft coach or bus are exempt from the charge. England England was the last country in the United Kingdom to adopt the 5 pence charge, with the levy taking effect on 5 October 2015. Prior to the introduction of plastic bag regulations, various retailers participated in voluntary actions to reduce plastic bag consumption. Unlike the rest of the UK, the English charge does not apply to paper bags or bags made from other natural materials. As with the other nations, VAT raised on sales will be collected by the government. Retailers can choose how the money raised from bag sales is used. The government publishes information yearly on the scheme, encouraging retailers to donate the proceeds to charities. In the first six months, 640 million plastic bags were used in seven major supermarkets in England, raising £29.2 million for good causes. England reported to have distributed 0.6 billion single-use bags during the first half-year of the charge, 7 billion fewer than were distributed in 2014. To promote the growth of new businesses in England, retailers with fewer than 250 employees are exempt from the charge. Opponents to the exemption of small retailers argued that this exemption would diminish the environmental impact of the charge. 
In response to this criticism, in the UK government has announced plans to extend the charge to all retailers and double the charge to 10p, which is expected to come into effect in January 2020. Topic: North America Topic. The Bahamas Within the Bahamas, non-legislative approaches have been instituted by the Bahamas Plastic Movement BPM, an environmental non-profit organization that utilizes research, education, citizen science and policy change as solutions. Through citizen science-based research, public education and youth activism campaigns, this grassroots entity successfully engaged the Bahamian government in enacting legislation for a single-use plastics ban, including lightweight plastic bags, to be implemented in 2020. Topic Canada In March 2007, the small town of Leaf Rapids, Manitoba, became the first community in North America to ban bags. The Toronto City Council voted on the 6th of June 2012 to ban plastic bags effective the 1st of January 2013 and to scrap the city's 5 cent bag fee starting the 1st of July 2012. Industry groups have convinced city officials to include a grace period between the 1st of January 2013 and the 30th of June 2013 when no fines, only warnings can be issued. The bag ban and 5 cent fee, 6 cents with HST, have both been overturned as of the 28th of November 2012 and it's up to individual retailers if they want to charge for plastic bags. Most stores, with the exception of a few national retailers, do not charge. topic Guatemala A few municipalities in Guatemala have banned plastic bags, including San Pedro La Laguna, Acatenango, Villa Canales, San Miguel Patapa and Totonacapan. Jamaica There is a working group examining a state motion to ban plastic bags in Jamaica. On the 17th of September 2018, the Jamaican cabinet announced a total ban on the importation, manufacture, distribution and use of single-use plastic bags, effective the 1st of January 2019. Topic: Mexico. Mexico approved legislation to ban and fine plastic bags in August 2010. However, the legislation is not observed. Mexico City banned plastic bags in 2010, but plastic bags remain one of Mexico's biggest pollution problems. The city of Querétaro banned plastic bags in 2017. Topic: <inaudible> Panama. Panama's assembly has passed legislation banning plastic bags. The law was sanctioned by the president in January 2017 and retailers have until January 2020 to phase out their existing stock. <laughs> United States 
There is no national plastic bag fee or ban currently in effect in the United States. However, the states of California, Hawaii, de facto, New York, takes effect March 2020, and the territories of American Samoa, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico have banned disposable bags. Over 200 counties and municipalities have enacted ordinances either imposing a fee on plastic bags or banning them outright, including all counties in Hawaii. Other attempts at banning plastic shopping bags statewide for example in Massachusetts have not succeeded mainly due to plastic industry lobbying. A few jurisdictions have chosen to implement a fee-only approach to bag reduction such as Washington, D.C. and adjacent Montgomery County, Maryland. Some U.S. states, such as Florida and Arizona, have passed laws preventing local municipalities from passing their own bans. In 2019, the state of New York passed a ban on single use plastic bags and introduced a five cent fee for using single use paper bags. The ban is scheduled to enter into force in 2020. This measure will not only reduce plastic bag usage in New York State around 23 billion every year until now, but will also eliminate approximately 12 million barrels of oil used to make plastic bags for the state each year. Oceania Topic: Australia. Although the nation does not ban lightweight bags, the states of South Australia, Tasmania, and the ACT and Northern Territory, along with some cities, have independently banned the bag. Coles Bay, Tasmania, was the first location in Australia to ban the bag. The introduction of the ''Zero Waste'' program in South Australia led to its lightweight bag ban in October 2008. It is estimated that 400 million bags are saved each year. Western Australia and Queensland banned them on 1 July 2018 and Victoria has announced it will introduce a ban in 2019. In Australia, 6 billion HDPE bags were used in 2002. Usage reduced to 5.6 billion in 2004, and 3.9 billion in 2007, after the two biggest supermarket chains in Australia banned single-use plastic grocery bags, the consumption of plastic bags in Australia dropped by 80% in three months. New Zealand In 2018, the Labour government pledged to phase out single-use plastic bags within a year's time. New Zealand is one of the highest producers of urban waste in the developed world, per capita, according to OECD data. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and Associate Environment Minister Eugenie Sage made the announcement on the 10th of August 2018. On the 18th of December 2018, the Labour government announced that all plastic shopping bags, including biodegradable, compostable, and oxygradable bags that have handles with a thickness of less than 70 microns, will be banned from the first. 1 July 2019. Retailers who do not comply could face fines of up to NZD £100,000 
Topic: South America. Topic: Argentina. In 2012, the Buenos Aires city government allowed supermarkets to charge for plastic bags in order to discourage their use, which is said to have reduced their use by 50%. In 2016 the city announced a full ban on the distribution of plastic bags in supermarkets and hypermarkets. Commencing the 1st of January 2017, in 2009, the governor of Buenos Aires Province, Daniel Scioli, approved Law 13868, which mandated that by the end of that year, all non-biodegradable plastic bags should be phased out in favor of degradable materials. Other provinces like Nuquin, Chubut, Rio Negro and cities like Rosario, Villa Gesell or Bariloque had already banned the distribution of plastic bags in supermarkets as well. <laughs> Chile Some 80 municipalities have restricted plastic bag distribution, while some coastal and lakeside areas have banned plastic bags altogether. In late May 2018, House of Representatives voted to ban plastic bags from major retailers nationwide, effective in a year, while smaller retailers will have a two year window to phase out their use of plastic bags, during which time they'll limit two bags per customer. In August 2018, the legislation was approved by Congress and the President. Topic: Colombia. Colombia plans to reduce the use of plastic bags by 80% by the year 2020, and completely eliminate their use by the year 2025. On the 29th of April 2016, the Ministry of Environment passed a resolution banning plastic bags under 30 cm by 30 cm. From the 1st of July 2017, the Colombian government applies a tax of 20 pesos per plastic bag, with a planned annual increase of 10 pesos per bag until 2020. Topic. See also Biodegradable bags Phase out of incandescent light bulbs Sustainability Waste management Reusable shopping bag Topic. Notes and references equals 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 footnotes. <laughs> <laughs>